I would like to introduce you to a very special person who will do a demo for you today. And she is Chef Abel. <laughs> Siyempre, ako din yun. Ako lang naman tao dito eh. Para sa mga hindi nakakakilala sa akin, ako po si Chef Ave Baile and I am from Batangas. Ako po ang brand ambassador ng Chelly Butter. Yes, it's Chelly. So when you go to Gavinos and buy the butter, say Chelly. Okay? Chelly. Like Chelly. Alright? There. So today, I will teach you how to make buttercream. Not just any buttercream, but it's a buttercream that's so easy to make that even your four-year-old can make it. Oh, challenge yan ha. Dapat kaya tong gawin ng four-year-old. Kaya nyo ring gawin. Why is it so easy? Because you only need very few ingredients and it doesn't need to be cooked or it also won't use any eggs but it turns out to be smooth as well and pipeable so you can use it to pipe flowers with. Siyempre, before I forget, I am not only the beautiful brand ambassador of Chelly Butter, but I am also the only Filipino that is licensed to teach Korean buttercream here in the Philippines. Yan. Yan. Ako po ay uh, lisensyado ng ICAF CD or International Korean Association of Flower Cake Designers. Yan. Meron po ako patunay ito. Okay, may kita kasi ninyo yung tunay kong pangalan. So, hanggang doon na lang. So there, now let's start and make our buttercream. Alright, for this buttercream, you will need heavy cream, white shortening, kailangan po, very particular kayo sa brand ng inyong shortening. Make sure it doesn't have any rancid smell. Dapat po ang shortening ninyo is white and tasteless. Maybe a bit salty, but nothing more than just salty. Okay? Pag meron kayong na-smell na kind of like Cooking oil, that's a no-no, definitely. Powdered sugar, of course, chili gourmet butter, unsalted, and vanilla. For your tools, you will need spatulas, mixing bowls. Ito po important for flour piping. Mahiga ka muna dyan. <laughs> flour lifter, flour nail, and this is optional flour nail holder, but this, this is very useful, so if you have one, gamitin mo na siya. Okay, now let's make our buttercream. Yan, first we'll put our powdered sugar. Ito yung una nating ingredient na ilalagay. Pero tatanggalin ko lang muna yung paddle. Kasi para close to the bowl. Dahil super fine yung ating powdered sugar. It really has a tendency to puff. See, nagkakaroon siya ng parang smoke. Now we'll put back our paddle. Yan, tapos ilalagay natin ang kalahati ng ating cream. Then, we'll mix it a little. Para lang yung sugar natin mabasa. Yan. Ang maganda talaga dito sa buttercream na to, wala siyang masyadong preparation beforehand. So, you can immediately use it after you make it. And it takes about 10 minutes to prepare all of your ingredients. Napakadali lang niya at napakadaling gamitin. There. Now, na-absorb na niya, Nang kaunti yung inyong cream, it's now time to add your shortening. Make sure you add it before your butter kasi para ma-breakdown muna siya before you add your butter. Mas stiff kasi yung inyong shortening. So, mas matagal siyang ma-breakdown. Dapat wala kasing lumps. When you're going to pipe the buttercream, dapat very smooth siya. There you go. Most important ingredient in this buttercream is the butter and the next is the powdered sugar. That's why I use a no-sift brand. Kasi sobrang smooth talaga nito, sobrang fine. There, once na breakdown na yung inyong shortening, there, you can increase the speed. There you go. Now we're going to uh, scrape the sides of the bowl. Yeah, see how thick that is? This will be very difficult to pipe. That's why we need smooth and silky butter. So that's our next ingredient. Here we go. 
Oops. I started, I think that was in 2017 when I went to Dubai and I met the president of ECAP CD, Lucia Im. And it was my introduction to good buttercream. Before, because there's, you know, there's always buttercream. There's American buttercream, there's Italian meringue buttercream, there's Swiss meringue buttercream, but there's a very special place in my heart for Korean buttercream because of two things. It's really beautiful. There's no prettier buttercream than Korean buttercream. And then it's also very easy to make. You know, so it's, it's really my go-to buttercream. Oh, I also have Korean buttercream classes. I have basic and advanced. If you're interested in that, please visit my page. Mahirap hanapin yung page ko kasi mahaba yung pangalan niya. Chef Ave Baile. Yeah. <laughs> so, type niyo lang, Chef Ave Baile. Tapos, pwede niyo pong i-message doon na interested kayo sa Korean buttercream classes. There. So, mamaya may kita ninyo kung gano ka smooth ito at gano kadaling i-pipe. Yan. Pero syempre, di ba? This is basic buttercream. So if you want more advanced buttercream, pwede po kayong uh, mag-Italian meringue. Pwede rin po kayong mag-Swiss meringue. And yes, my personal favorite, Korean buttercream. And so now we'll put the remaining heavy cream. There. What I love most about Shelly Butter is it may be a new brand, but it's one of the best brands that I've tried in its price range. Uh, marami kasing butter sa market and you know how much butters cost? One bar can cost as much as 200 pesos. But Shelly Butter, in any of the baking supply stores that you go to, is always less than 100 pesos. It's affordable, but it's good butter. Yeah, We're almost in the home stretch. Konting konti na lang. Pero kung makikita ninyo, malapit na niyang ma-achieve yung smooth and silky consistency. Di ba? Ganun lang. Yan. So, konting konti na lang. Now, we will add our vanilla. A cup full is a teaspoon. Pag ganito lang kalaki yung cup ninyo, baka mag ganun kalaki yung cup ninyo, tapos isipin nyo, teaspoon pa rin yun, ha? Yan. There. So maybe about a minute more of mixing and it's done. There. It's really almost done. But just before we finish, I just want to tell you, I really love chelly not just for baking. In fact, it's the only butter that I use for baking. But it's also versatile. You can still use it for buttercream provided you have the right recipe and this is it. Marami tayong butter blends in the market but not all are stable. Most of them, about a few minutes at room temperature, melted na siya. Talagang totally melted na siya. Effortless melting nga. Pero with jelly, you see that it's more stable because it has high fat content. Konti konti na. Ang bango! The aroma of jelly is talagang superb. Pag kinumpare mo siya sa ibang butter blends, ito lang yung talagang amoy na amoy mo yung butter. And it's done. Now let's go ahead and pipe buttercream flowers. All right, so now we're going to start and make our bouquet. First, we'll do the base. Di ba yung bouquet niyo pag bumibili kayo meron parang papel na nakaganyan? Kung ano ang purpose nun, di ko din alam. All right, so we want a kind of a Teal color. Yeah. Pag nagkukulay kayo, dapat hindi niyo dino double dip yung coloring stick niyo. Pag nagamit niyo na, you throw it away kasi yan ang magpapasimula na magkaroon ng bacteria yung inyong food color. E ang dami dami pa naman ng saya. So, we now have a light bluish green color. Gusto ko mas blue pa ng konti. So, I will add sky blue. When you color your buttercream, you don't put a lot of color because 
the buttercream doesn't uh, easily develop the color. So, pag kinolor mo yan ng very dark, after 20 minutes, super dark na yun. So, dapat, konti lang. Give it a little allowance, like maybe 20% of darkening. Right, so, lalagay lang natin siya dito sa base. Yan. Tapos, isismear nyo lang siya dun sa inyong cake board. Yan na yung pinaka-background nyo. Huwag nyo masyadong pantayin kasi maganda yung, kon yung parang kalat-kalat ba siya. Kasi you're trying to imitate the paper that's behind a bouquet. Yan. There. Ang buttercream na to, it's not advisable for you to refrigerate. So, medyo limited yung shelf life niya. But, it stays good at room temperature for three days. Kasi marami siyang sugar. So, mataas yung sugar content niya. And, as you know, sugar acts as a preservative. Stays good, but you don't use it after three days because bacteria could have set in and that's dangerous. That's the marker for what's good and what's not. Would you feed your kids something that's been at room temperature after four days? Diba? So you treat your customers like they're your family. You protect them like they're your family. So you don't feed them something that you won't feed your kids. Or if you don't have kids, your family. Okay. Now we will do the stem and the leaves. Alright, so now... I've added here avocado green. Kasi di ba ang ganda niya, oh. Ang ganda ng kanyang hue. Pero if you don't have avocado green, you can make a similar shade by combining green, brown, and yellow. This is the same color that we will use for the leaves and the stem. Siyempre, para medyo ano siya, realistic, Diba yung stem, medyo parang may mancha-mancha ng brown yun eh. So, we will put a little brown, just a little brown, and just on the side. Ganyan. Huwag brown lahat, okay? Hindi ito puno. Stem lang to. Yan. There you go. Now, okay, we're going to use a coupler, but this is optional. You don't have to use a coupler if you don't have it. You can just use a piping bag with the piping tip inserted directly into the bag. Right there. We're going to use a round tip. Tapos, the brown streaked buttercream, we will put it on one side like this. Yan. Yeah, and then fill it with green. That's it. So, this is like a bouquet of flowers with stems. So, we start tayo here at the bottom and pipe up. When you see a bouquet, the end of the stems are below are separated and then it comes together at the point. So, dapat ganon din yung arrangement nyo. Tapos, wag nyo siyang masyadong pantay-pantayin. Kasi hindi naman ruler yung bouquet. Make sure you press firmly when you're piping para hindi napuputol yung paglabas ng buttercream. There. Oh. Nice, di ba? Now, I will put a mound of buttercream in the middle. Doon natin iuupo yung ating mga flowers. So, this is just going to be plain white buttercream. Para yung flowers ninyo, hindi siya flat. Mayroon siyang arc na ganyan. So, it looks like a real bouquet. So, we'll still use the same color. Papalitan lang natin yung piping tip. This is the purpose of having couplers. 
Kasi you can change piping tips without having to change your bag there. So I'm using here a tip 352, which is the leaf tip. So guys, pag may questions kayo, i-comment nyo lang sa ilalim. And we will do our best. Bawal ang math questions, okay? Mga buttercream related questions lang. Alright, so, eto, people are asking how to use this kasi yung iba ginagamit nila pabaliktad. It should be like this. Like the beak of a bird. Paganyan dapat siya, hindi paganto. So, di ba yung bird din naman siya tumutoka ng paganito pa side? So, it should be like this. Pag nagpa-pipe kayo ng leaves, i-shake nyo ng kaunti yung hand ninyo. Para magkaroon siya nung gano'n, no? Yung shape ng veins ng leaves. Yan. Tingnan nyo. I started baking when I was in high school. But start is actually not equivalent to success. Ito, totoo to, tinatawa na ng husband ko yung baking ko kasi yung cupcakes, nagiging puto yung puto, nagiging cupcakes. When I was in high school, the mother of my classmate was a baker. She, you know, the regular bakeries in the neighborhood, ganong klase ng baker. It was very interesting for me, so I started baking on my own and it, it was really not successful. No one wanted to eat but I baked. And in those times, Mahalata ang edad ko, <laughs> pero wala pang YouTube noon. <laughs> wala pang YouTube, wala pang uh, Google. So lahat, parang widow lang. You have to try and make everything on your own. So hindi ako successful, but the interest never died. So, life happened. <laughs> and when I turned 40, yes! I'm actually 50 na. I know it's hard to believe kasi I look 25. Malik na bagay. <laughs> so, marami ako naging ganap sa buhay ko. Pero when I turned 40, I made the decision na I wanted to be a baker. A real baker. A baker with papers. Someone you can really call uh, a pastry chef. So, yon I went back to school. Nag-aral ako li, Ganyan. Tapos, um... Finally, I became a chef. And the purpose of that was I wanted to open a cake shop. Akala ko I needed to be a chef to open a cake shop. Hindi naman pala. Sayang ang oras ko. <laughs> no, but honestly, it was uh, one of the best decisions in my life. Kasi after all of the jobs that I, I've had in my life, this is the most fulfilling. You touch a lot of lives. You... Of course, it's optional, and it is my choice. You get to help a lot of people, di ba? Yung mga nangailangan din naman ng mga free tutorials like this. Tapos yun, finally, chef na ako. Tapos yung puto ko, puto na talaga siya. Yung cupcake ko, cupcake na talaga siya. <laughs> Tapos, nalaman ko, ito, it's so important, na ang muffin pala, cupcake na walang frosting. <laughs> Alam ko sila. O, di ba? Hindi ninyo alam yun, no? So, it's your choice. You can be a muffin or you can be a cupcake. And I choose to be a cupcake. Yes, go. You can clap your hands. Go, go. <laughs> and, and, though, that's the truth. That's the absolute truth. So, eto, eto, I really want to share this with everyone. I became a chef when I was 41, actually. So, it's never too late to make something better of yourself. Yan. So, if you're a muffin now, sus, isang ganyan lang yan, cupcake ka na. You just have to, you just have to make the decision. You have to want it. And you have to go for it. Yan. So, now we're going to pipe our flowers. Mag-start muna tayo sa maliit. So, I am using a tip 104. There, it's a tip 104. When you are piping, your piping bag needs to be really full like this. It cannot be soft because it will be very hard for the buttercream to come out. Also, when you're piping, ang nag 
gagalaw is yung hand. And then after you pipe a petal, you turn. There. Then you will pipe a base. Kasi this is different. If you're putting it on a cake, like a 3D cake, that ganito pwede na. But since you're doing a flat lay right here, you need the base para magmukha siyang part ng board. There, oh, see? There. Now, I will use the same bag because that contributes to a harmonious palette. Kapag ka yung konting kulay na ginamit mo dun sa ibang flowers ay sasama dun sa bago mong flowers, mas maganda yun. Hindi masyadong instant yung pag-transition mo into another color. Yan. Oh, ang nice, oh. It looks like ice cream. <laughs> there. And we're almost there. Now we will do the stamens. This will give life to your flowers. So here you have it! Your buttercream flower bouquet. Diba ang dali lang? And super dali lang talaga niyang ipipe. All you need to do is have the right tools. Everything that we used here, you can find it in Gavinos. Ang butter natin, Shelly Gourmet Butter, is also available sa Gavinos. Piping tips, piping bags, and everything, absolutely everything that you need that we use today ay matatagpuan ninyo sa Gavinos. Dahil at Gavinos, anyone can blame.